One of the things the Moroccan poets, Sheikh Ibn Al Habib, said, Inna ma'anin qa'imatun bisuwar. The cosmos are meanings set up in images. You see an image, but there's a meaning behind the image. إِنَّ مَلْكَوْنُ مَعَانٍ قَائِمَةٌ بِسُورٍ كُلُّ مَنْ يُدْرِكُ هَذَا كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْعِبَرِ Whoever understands this is among the people of discernment. In other words, the people that perceive meanings as opposed to the sensory. The sensoria are there. We experience the sensoria, but all of the sensoria has meanings. Why are we attracted to flowers? What is the attraction? Why are we attracted to colors? Because they reflect meanings. They're tajalliyats of qualities of God, beauty. So what you're seeing is jamal. And that's what you're attracted to. And jamal is an attribute of God. So you're witnessing an attribute of God manifesting in creation and that's what you're attracted to. If you don't see that, you're like the beasts. You're a person of sensoria because you're not recognizing the meaning. Why are we attracted to beauty? Because it's an attribute of God. Why don't we like ugliness? Because God is not ugly. And that's why the fitra nature, when it's healthy, it's attracted to those things that are beautiful and it's put off by those things that are ugly. When the, the nature becomes distorted, corrupted, it's actually attracted to ugly things. It likes ugly sounds. That's why if you look at the way people dress today, it's ugly dress, really. They put like ugly tattoos on their bodies. And they do these things because they're not well. Those are all indications of their states. But they're even unaware of that. They're not even aware they're sick. Because people in fitra will not do things like that. Those are distortions of the fitra state. Human beings always have dressed. If you look at embellishment in Muslim clothes. Why do Muslims put embellishments on their clothes? Why in Afghanistan? Why do they do that? Why do, they could just have a functional cloak, but why do they do the embroidery? What is that? It's in their nature. They're people of ihsan, so they make things beautiful. You could just make a functional carpet. Why make the design? Why, but that's an ugly design in my estimation. But <laughs> why, why make the design? Do you know why, why, why did whoever did this, why did they do this? Do you see, really, why did they do this? Whoever, whoever made this here, somebody did this. They took time to do this. We could just be sitting up here in a functional thing without flowers, without just sitting here. What is that in the human being that wants to do that? That's ihsan. Ihsan means to make beautiful. Ahsana. It means to bring about husn. Asma'ullah husna, the beautiful names of God. Why are they beautiful? Because they are qualities of God. So anything that you see in the world that is beautiful is manifesting a quality of God. Those are the meanings in the forms. So the forms are there, but the meanings in the forms are what the people of discernment see. They don't see the externals. They see the internals. They see with the Ayn al-Basira, not with Ayn al-Basar. The eye of the heart and not with the eye, this outward eye that we see. So this is what he's saying, that there are people out there that you see them in the form of a human being, but they're, they're not humans, they're demons. They're pigs. They're dogs. That's, their, that's the reality of their state. And it's not for me or you to judge because we could be in the same thing. So you're pointing the finger at somebody else, look at that dog over there, and you're, the, you're a dog yourself. So it's much more important to be concerned with your own state. What's my state? Not what's their state. What's my state?